Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm Alex. And we present planoxels, or planoptic volume elements, that represent radiance fields without neural networks. Planoxels achieve similar performance as NERF, and can represent both bounded and unbounded scenes. Here's how it works. Like NERF, our planoxel model is optimized using calibrated images of a scene. To render a pixel, we intersect its ray with the voxels in our model, each of which stores density and spherical harmonic coefficients. We evaluate the planoptic function at regular intervals along the ray, using trilinear interpolation of the neighboring voxel coefficients. Finally, the ray color is determined by combining these sample values according to a volume rendering formula. We optimize our planoxel model using gradients computed on many batches of training rays. We prune away empty voxels to produce a sparse representation, and subdivide non-empty voxels to achieve high resolution. Our results show that the key component in NERF is the differentiable volumetric rendering, not the neural network. In addition to being much simpler than NERFs, planoxels also optimize much faster. Here's the side-by-side -side comparison of NERF and planoxels training on a single Titan RTX GPU. As you can see, even after just a few seconds, planoxels capture much of the geometry and appearance. In contrast, NERF has only begun to capture the rough shape of the object after several minutes of optimization. For all scenes, Planoxels achieve nerf quality with a speed up of two orders of magnitude. What takes 10 minutes of planoxel optimization takes a day for nerf. In addition to differentiable volume rendering, we find that trilinear interpolation is key to achieve high resolution and better convergence. Regularizing the space is also important, particularly when the number of observations is low. Next. We compare the visual quality of planoxels and NERF on synthetic NERF scenes. As you can see, planoxels capture fine details such as waves and the ship's rigging that are less pronounced in NERF. Our final grid resolution is 512 by 512 by 512, allowing planoxels to encode effectively all the details present in the ground truth views. Across all scenes, planoxels optimize to the same or better quality as NERF in a small fraction of the time. Planoxels can also model unbounded forward-facing scenes using a voxel grid warped by normalized device coordinates, the same transformation used in NERF for these scenes. Normalized device coordinates effectively reallocate the resolution of our voxel grid, allowing for high resolution in the foreground and low resolution further away. Although high resolution produces accurate and detailed 3D planoxel models, it does come at a cost in terms of memory. However, there are many methods of compressing a planoxel grid while retaining its high fidelity and fast optimization. We further demonstrate planoxels on 360 degree scenes by adding a multi sphere image background model. In this scene, a physical Lego truck is placed on a table inside a real room. We can visualize the background MSI model and foreground planoxel grid separately, although they are optimized jointly. The background model is a stack of concentric voxel spheres, with trilinear interpolation both within each sphere and between neighboring spheres in depth. Planoxels optimize in under 30 minutes for 360 degree scenes, compared to about 4 days for NERF++ a variant of NERF that also supports unbounded scenes. We also evaluate on a subset of the Tanks and Temples dataset. These scenes are more challenging because the camera exposure can vary in different viewpoints, leading to inconsistent supervision of colors. This problem is particularly challenging for outdoor scenes with bright sunlight, but it should be possible to improve results by optimizing exposure to account for these effects. Nonetheless, with no substantive modifications, our planoxel method captures compelling models of these real-world scenes. Finally, we'd like to thank our collaborators Matt, Chin Hong, Ben, and Angju for their contributions to this project. 
please see our website for links to the paper, video results, and code, and stop by our poster if you'd like to chat. Thanks for listening.